What's up everyone? It's Nep King and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be talking about my future cosplay ideas on a new series. You may have recognized me in the Genshin Impact photo shoots in Toronto Comic Con, Anime Ottawa and Anime North this year where I was Kazuha. This is how I look in his outfit. Since August 2024, I have cosplayed as four characters, which two of each were from different series. From Hyperdimension Neptunia, I have cosplayed as IF and Blonde. Pretty soon, I will have Neptune by Toronto Comic Con 2025. From Genshin Impact, obviously Kazuha is who I was cosplaying, and recently I began cosplaying as Farina since Otaku Fonda this year. I have new cosplays coming up for these next cosplay events and conventions. Now, to get to the topic of this video, there is a new game created by Holiverse called Zenla Zone Zero which was released on July 4th, 2024, coincidentally on the same day as Anime Expo 2024 in Los Angeles, which is the convention I'm planning to attend in 2028. I was pretty excited for the new game from Helioverse as I'm a huge fan of their games such as Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail, which is why I have also cosplay from them. Though I don't have a cosplay from Honkai Star Rail, I should have it by next year. After seeing some of their character designs, and since they are also Helioverse characters, there are a few selected characters I plan to cosplay as. In Zenland Zone Zero, there are different factions which are groups of characters, so it simply is like a guild. From each faction, I'm going over on which one or few characters I plan on cosplaying in the future. This will also include the 2D Inferno update where there's a new faction called Sons of Caledon, which was released in late September of 2024. Now let's get started. Let's start off from the Cunning Hitters. We have four members, which are Ambi, Nicole, Billy, and Nikomata. Since my preference for wearing cosplay outfits is generally to be less revealing, what I mean by more clothes, there are two members that I may be cosplaying, which are Ambi Damara or Billy Kid. I have cosplays photos of them, including Nicole, which were taken at Fan Expo Canada. Now moving on to our protagonists who are Faith in and the owners of Random Play Video Store on 6th Street, we got Bell and Wise. As both of them fit my preference, I may be cosplaying as any of them though I'm thinking of doing Bell since she's pretty cute. I also got photos of them which were taken at Fan Expo Canada. From the Oval Squad, which isn't part of the main story, at least for now at the time of the release of this video, there's only one character in this faction, who is Soldier Eleven. Soldier Eleven's outfit is pretty neat and techno, which is something I've been considering when cosplaying in a techno style outfit. She may be my first techno styled outfit to cosplay for. Moving to Chapter 2, we are at Bellabog Heavy Industries, and no, that has nothing to do with Bellabog in Gerlito 6 in Honkai Star Rail. It's actually a construction site with four members from the faction. We have the president, who is Kaleida Bellabog, which is where the faction got its name from, Grace Howard, Anton Ivanov, and Ben Bigger. Out of those four, I'll choose Anton. After Chapter 2, we have Neps. For those of you who are Neptunia fans watching this video, you may be thinking or joking around that there's Neptunia involved, but it has nothing to do with Neptunia, really. NEP stands for New Eridu Public Security, which is the police agency for New Eridu. Within PubSec, there is a team called Criminal Investigation Special Response Team. In that team, there are Zhu Yan, Ching Yi, Seth, and Jane. From that team, I'll choose to do either Zhu Yan or Seth. Now onto Chapter 3. We have the Victoria Housekeeping Company with four members, which we have a wolf and three maids. We have Von Lycon, Corin, Ellen, and Rena. From there, I'll choose Von Lycon as I like the style of his wig for cosplaying. Currently, I have photos of Ellen and Corin at Autocophon and Fanexport Canada. 
Since the Tour de Inferno update of the game in September 2024, we got the Sons of Caledon. In this faction, we have Caesar, Lucy, Piper, Bernice, and Lighter. I have two possible characters that may be cosplaying from this faction, which are either Caesar or Lighter. Finally, at the end of Chapter 4, we meet Section 6 members. There are Mayabi, Tsukaku, and Yanagi. From Section 6, I'll probably choose to cosplay as Mayabi. I have photos of Mayabi from Fanxville Canada and Tsukaku from Otakupon. Honestly, that Tsukaku cosplay did a very great job while she painted her skin blue. And this wraps up for my cosplay ideas from Zemu Zone Zero. Just note the characters I mentioned that I plan to cosplay from is just an idea and I may not cosplay all those characters that I mentioned. However, I have decided on my first cosplay from Zemu Zone Zero and that is... Before I get into who it is, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel as well as leaving a like comment and sharing this video to others. It helps this channel a lot and there will be more cosplay videos coming in these next couple of weeks to each month. That character I'll be cosplaying is Soldier 11 from Oval Squad. She will be my 8th cosplay which will come after Neptune and Silver Wolf next year. I'm expecting to cosplay as her in summer 2025 which most likely will be at Fan Expo Canada 2025. The next Summer Zone Zero characters after her are currently not yet decided, so definitely stay tuned. Before I go, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and TikTok, which are linked in the descriptions below. My Discord server is also linked there, which do consider joining if you use Discord a lot. Again, my name is NetKing, and now I'm signing off.